Good morning, ESM. Uh, you're here today with Ty and Olivia, and welcome to Spartan News. Now on to News with Bennett. Last Friday, Texas hit 1,589,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19, the most in the nation. Texas passed California for the lead last month. Both California and Texas have been experiencing a surge in cases in just the past two weeks. New cases were up 40% in Texas and 31% in California, which contributed to the United States record of 122,365 cases. The death percentage in Texas was up 10% over, over the last couple of weeks, for a total of 18,977 as of last week. Six mail workers at the United States Postal Service on Taft Road have been quarantined after testing positive for the coronavirus. The managers are working hard to trace the coronavirus path to ensure safety. In Cicero, New York, thieves broke into the Best Buy used car dealership on Church Street and stole nine cars. While the car dealership was closed overnight, the car thieves climbed through a shattered window and searched the desk for car keys. One suspect was captured on film wearing a face mask. On Tuesday, three juveniles were arrested and caught in the stolen vehicles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We are very excited to announce that registration for the ESM Winter Guard and Percussion Ensemble has begun and the championship winning groups are open to students in grades 6 through 12. If you dance, give Winter Guard a try. If you drum or play the piano, the Percussion Ensemble might be for you. Interested students are encouraged to visit Review COVID Guidelines and register at www.esmmarchingband.org. Student Council is proud to bring each classroom a bottle of Beacon Skiff hand sanitizer. These bottles will be, your class, will be in your classroom on Thursday. We're fortunate to have the sanitizer donated to us by Beacon Skiff. Student Council decided to repackage the donation into individual spray bottles and to distribute one to each room. The Spurton branch will be open for banking soon. We will be open on Tuesdays and Fridays this semester during all lunches. We will be socially distanced and ready to serve on Tuesday, November 17th. See you at the branch. Today will be cool with sunny skies in the afternoon and have highs around 50 with a low of 31. Tomorrow we'll have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 54. This Saturday will continue to be partly cloudy with a high near 45. Sunday will be windy with some rain showers developing and have highs in the mid to upper 50s. Monday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 49. Tuesday and Wednesday will both have brief sh snow showers with highs in the upper 30s. I'm Nicole with your weather. Uh, words you never want to hear again, 2020. We are down to the awful eight. Uh, we have two matchups today, actually. Uh, essential workers versus sports are canceled. Uh, personally, for me, sports are canceled, canceled is probably one of the worst because uh, it means I have nothing to do. And it also means that I'm stuck just during school and homework. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I'm, I'm not really a, an essential worker, so... Yes, hearing that sports are canceled, that's the, the main one that comes up for me. And uh, the second matchup is the new normal versus unprecedented times. My gosh, unprecedented times is definitely one that just irks me because <laughs> it, it basically means nobody knows what the heck is going on. Yeah, I, I honestly, I actually, those, I haven't really heard those two. It's kind of weird, like, I don't know. We're always talking about these words and I, I just haven't really heard them, but 
If you want to let us know, head over to our Twitter page at ESM Morning Show and vote for your top choice. Now we're headed to sports. On Tuesday, the boys' soccer team beat Central Square 5-1, putting their record to 9-2. Christian Moon scored three goals, along with Evan DeBersion and Zach Schofield, who both had one goal. The girls' soccer team also defeated Central Square on Tuesday 1-0. Leah Rem put one goal in for the Spartans. Former Spartan Gavin Hollington recently signed to the Richmond lacrosse team. He will be joining another former Spartan in Lance Madonna. For Syracuse news, on Tuesday, Dior Johnson and Syracuse basketball mutually decided to part ways on Tuesday. He was the top recruit SU had since Carmelo Anthony. But in better news, five-star recruit Benny Williams has signed his national leather of intent to sign for the Syracuse men's basketball team. He is a 6'8 forward that is playing his senior year of high school at the IMG Academy, one of the top high schools in the nation. Tonight on Thursday Night Football, the Tennessee Titans will take on the Indianapolis Colts in a game that will be very important for the NFC South standings. In upcoming games, boys and soccer games have been canceled for the day. I'm Tanner with your sports. Uh, thank you for kicking it here with everybody at the morning show. So we hope that you have a great day.